<laughs> she loves sitting in my chair. See you, Lily. How do I care for my beloved or my designer bags, shoes, and in particular, scarves? So let's begin. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are in the world, my channel is called Sheila Sparkles. And today, we are going to, you know, not do, we don't just buy stuff and then not cherish them because I think it is very important to keep, like for me, I love to keep everything in pristine condition as much as possible because I just, I love, cleaning in general and taking care of my things it doesn't matter if it's designer or not i still believe that i use them i use these pieces a lot therefore i really want to make them you know look like the longevity like increase the longevity of my items by taking good care of them and making sure that they are clean every time i use them so first off let's start off with scarves i have it here I've got quite a few and these are Hermes and then I've got some scarves from Christian Dior as well so what I do with them is that I wash them with a particular brand in that you can see in a, in a local like in Australia and this was actually advised <coughs> by my Hermes fairy so she said Sheila, I know you for quite a long time now and so I'm saying this to you but I wouldn't say it to like a customer who just, you know, appeared in Hermes out of nowhere. But she said that she has, you know, there's a lot of people that have just been mainly like hand washing their scarves and what they use is like delicates only washing liquid. So I have here, and I'll show you a photo of this up close when I bought this at the supermarket. It's like less than $9 on sale. And this is called Specialty Laundry Wash li Washing Liquid. And it's mainly made for delicates, it says here. And it even says here, gentle on delicates and no added phosphates. So that's great. And now let's move on to the washing. A liquid form. What I do, well, the instruction says like half a cup, but what I do is I actually do, so I run the water like so. And I just have, because I've only got one twilly and one scarf. So this is how much I would put in it. So like one fourth of the whole thing. So just up to here. So, and then with this bit of water, I just, Pour that over that liquid over and then just mix it in a little bit and then I put the twilly first so let's get rid of that so this is what my Hermes fairy told me to do so yeah so just rinse it like so and maybe I'll, I might rub this a little bit actually I normally don't rub it but because this is quite dirty I might do that and then like that and voila all done maybe we'll rub it a bit more yeah. and then I'll just do the same thing with my 90 by 90 scarf this is actually the double side so you can both it you can wear this both ways which is quite lovely so two for one you know I love wearing my scarves as like tops so I really need to wash them and I'll show you a clip of me hanging them so I don't hang them for a long time outside in extreme heat just when it's quite oh there's a bit of discoloration there is that dirt I'm not too sure so we shall see but yeah this is how I would wash this and so far so good because I've washed like three of my I know four of my scarves and they have been quite fine like there's no discoloration or anything but you know this is a double-sided scarf so I try to just do it like I don't like 
you know, squeeze it like so. I just do like this. And then I will do the same thing with this. I just really wanted you to see the before and after. So I'm going to continue washing this again until like maybe three times. This is, so this was washed a few days ago. And today I've just washed this double-sided scarf. And I can tell you guys that there is no, the scarves look perfect. After being washed, there's no discoloration whatsoever. And since it's daylight savings here in Australia, the sun doesn't go down till like half past eight in the evening. And when the sun is down, it's not very striking. So that's the only time that I actually wash these delicate or this like silk, 100% silk scarves. And I do say they look amazing. Okay, they look like brand new. They look clean. So obviously the one that was washed off is like, you know, it's like dirt from using it because it's a bit gross. But you know, it's when you wear the scarves as tops, you do sweat, you know, like they do get like dusty and all that. And if you rewear them for a few times, then definitely it doesn't smell because I don't know, I'm not quite a sweaty person. So, and you know, like hygiene guys, obviously, but yeah. So they look amazing, I would say, and I will continue to do this. Now on the ear, like this is just my advice, take it from me. So you, you do your own thing, you know, like you judge whether you're going to do this or not. But for me, nothing has happened to the scarves. But one of the cons is that one of the fairy essays did mention that some of them, they've lost their color. Like, you know, instead of being like so vibrant, like this vibrant bluish color, they might turn into like a lighter color, but that's very random, like one in a million kind of thing. So I think I'm going to wing it. I think I'm going to be, you know, live on the dangerous side. I've always loved, to, I've always loved living dangerously. So yeah, um, that's as dangerous as my life is. But yeah, I do absolutely love um, taking care of my own things and to be honest with you I don't really trust the dry cleaners because I took one of my pants to the dry cleaners once here one of my frame cargo pants and there was still like a bit of dirt so I was like oh maybe I should you know um invest in a proper there's actually a machine guys that you put your clothes and it will dry clean for you now I got this idea of washing my own scarves and including my Zimmerman dresses because when I went back to Philippines, if you haven't watched that vlog, you know, with me and my family, like I'll link it up above, but I went to uh, Shangri-La Mactan in Cebu and it was very, it's a tropical, you know, destination, holiday destination. And my mom actually hand washed my Zimmerman pieces and nothing has happened to them. They still look brand new. So I think what the tag says, like dry clean only, it's just you know, like a caution kind of thing, and I would still do it. Now, for cashmere scarves, what I do if I want to freshen them is I have here my steamer, my good old like Philips steamer. So I will like steam them, especially on the armpits area. And if they really, really like, you know, if some of my makeup has attached to the collar of my cashmere shirts, then what I will do is I will take them to the dry cleaners, but I don't wash them. I just freshen them because not only if you dry clean them, you know, you've got, it's quite an added like um, cost. So you should consider as well, like the specialty cleaning and stuff like that is that you can increase, you know, like if you wash your clothes quite regularly, it's also not good for the fabric themselves. So I would say is that, Try to, if you can't, you know, I mean, I'm not very careful when I'm eating and all that. But like, if you can, you can also steam it and also just to freshen your clothes because it kills the bacteria as well. It has been proven. So that's good. And if not, then if they're really like dirty or there's an obvious like, you know, smudge in your clothes from your lipstick or makeup, then I would then take them, oops, to the dry cleaners. Well, that's what I personally 
do all the time and including my cashmere scarves is that I've only actually taken them to the dry cleaners once because to be honest with you I wrap it around my neck it's winter it's cold I don't sweat in it you know it's not like this 90 by 90 centimeter scarves that you know really they're very like close into my half of my body so yeah so I would suggest that for you know so that you not only reduce the cost but you also you know like you got to take care of these things and if you can do it yourself it's actually much better so I highly highly suggest that and try to avoid like you know air them outside but if it's too hot if you live in a very like hot hot you know like for example it's like 1 1 p.m in the afternoon when the sun is striking then maybe just take them out to let them drip dry because i don't squeeze them so drip dry drip dry them and then take them indoors into your washing you know in the shade or in a spare bedroom in your house and let them air dry well that would be my opinion okay that's that's what i do actually there you go so these are my recommendation for the ready to wear and also like scarves but mainly for my cashmere tops what i do and my silk you know my silk uh, dresses or i i just take them to the dry cleaners guys but i don't take them all the time just when they need cleaning and for my zimmerman dresses i have now decided that i am going to just wash or like wash them like hand wash them wearing gloves of course because you know you got to take care of your hands as well so that's about it for the dry cleaning and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to comment down below and if you have any good suggestions for me and also i forgot to mention this twilly you can see now it's very oh my gosh it's actually really clean now i'm really impressed with this soap this liquid detergent yeah amazing so yeah so this twilly used to be the twilly for my picotin but now i can use it for that bag yeah i really really do and then i will just iron this lightly as well or steam it before i put it on so that it looks amazing but yeah that is how i clean my silk scarves and my you know delicates like my dry clean only stuff i actually hand wash them except for the thick fabrics that you know you can always take to the dry cleaners there you go and steam them as well let's now move on to how do i take care of my designer shoes for the designer shoes there's really not a lot that you can do but what i normally do is I, if i have new shoes for example this oran this white orans what i normally do is i just wear them normally and once they're very like you know scratch underneath then i will take them to the cobbler and have them sold like this and it also because this is a hundred percent leather there's no grip so therefore i really love to take them to the cobbler and just have this done and it's just i know it's another added cost but just imagine guys i've had these oran sandals for three years and they're still they look so good like i don't know if you can see clearly but they still look amazing in my opinion you know look and also after i'll show you Oh, I use this baby wipes to clean the soles, you know, the rubber. So I've taken them to the cobbler and then every time I wear them, I give them a good wipe with just a normal like cloth that I got from. I don't even know where this cloth is from. I think just from like Kmart or like, you know, like at the supermarket. So what I do is I normally just wipe them clean and I make sure to also wipe them with this aqua wipes which is meant for babies but aqua wipes earth smart so it is 90 99.8 percent pure new zealand water oh my gosh yes apparently this is new zealand water yeah so there you go so i wipe the surface so that it's clean when i store them they're clean and pristine and i try to do it straight away after you know i get got home or even if i forget that's fine then I, you know before i go to bed i make sure i clean my shoes with um with this like aqua wipes or 99.8 percent pure water new zealand water so that's great and then what else so yeah you can see here with my 
there's a bit of dirt there but yeah with my amina muadi i've also like resold them and taken them to the cobbler but this bit i didn't do that but it's fine you know i don't wear these shoes every day guys because i've got quite a few and then also some of my now for this type of shoes for canvas or suede what i did was i sprayed it with this colonel it's like called carbon pro it is a protective it is a protective i'll try to link it down below but i got this at one of the shops here in australia and apparently it's really really good for protecting like you know like suede um this one is in suede so what i did is actually really good so it's like water it makes it water repellent or and also like dust repellent so i took this this um is a 30 sandals in the philippines and as you know philippines is really there's a lot it's quite dusty you know it's a humid country so therefore i before i actually left australia i sprayed this but make sure you're outside or outdoors and i sprayed it once like heavily sprayed it once and then left it out there for a few like 30 minutes and then sprayed it again and then left it for another two to three hours and then took it back here and then put it in my luggage you know so i sprayed it like really heavily with the carbon pro and with the, the entire shoe and it looks perfect i was just selling my sa because she said oh that's amazing that it's still very very clean knowing that it is suede so i'm definitely getting more suede pieces guys because i know now how to take care of them with this um you know like water resistant kind of spray and i was even thinking of doing that to my cushion your book tote but i mean i don't know i just felt like i've used that to its maximum capacity every time i travel that's my you know like my hand carry bag so yeah so I d definitely you can also spray that i think here but i haven't sprayed this guys but i must say that christian dior slides this d way slice is really good quality it doesn't get dirty quite easy but i if i'm gonna get a new pair i'm definitely going to spray it with that carbon pro carbon pro um it's like water resistant water resistant yeah so that's it and also for i mean for the crystal you can only do as much you know like this is my what is this mac and mac this these were actually my wedding shoes and i love them to bits but i did lose some crystals and yeah it's just you know it's just wear and tear i knew this before i bought the shoes so it's really not anyone's fault except myself because aesthetically pleasing i love it but no one is really going I, that still doesn't deter me from wearing these shoes because i think i can still wear them but it's quite annoying because these are not cheap and you know they're just like yeah i'm quite annoyed but i love the sparkly shoes because you know sheila sparkles and yeah so if you're new to my channel please do like and subscribe if you love this type of content you know and yeah become part of this family of luxury lovers and friends yes and what else can i say so yes that's about it make sure that at before like after you've like use your shoes you clean them now for example boots or like sneakers i have a special um you know like the grooves of this age i have this special brush coming from the same brand carbon pro colon colonel that i actually use as well to like clean the grooves of this letter h and but i mean you don't have to do that but i mean i don't really do that that often normally what i do is i would take the baby wipes like so when it's really dirty what i would do it's not dirty right now because it's clean but what i would do is just take one baby wipe and then just wipe it like so and there you go and then just wipe it all around and just have it air dried and yeah that's about it like i just do like that i don't even i mean if you have like tissues or like a soft cloth then you just wipe it if you wanted to 
you can also wipe it but I normally don't I just you know wipe it with the baby wipes and then I leave it in the laundry area to like dry a bit because there's an exhaust fan in our laundry and then and then after a few before I go to bed after a few minutes then I will then and also the the soles I I like wipe it with with my the wipes that I've used so yes so that's about it I mean you don't really need this brush I don't think you do but I mean if you really want to keep it like super pristine or something like that then that could work as well so the brush is kind of like important but like optional if that makes sense I would say so now for my other shoes like for example this patent leather what I did was I haven't been to the cobbler and then I was being lazy so I bought like one night I was searching through Amazon and I got this like sticky sole protector thingy so what it does is that you just stick it around and then cut it and then there you go and then but the problem with this is quite high maintenance because once it becomes really filthy or if you're on like you know wet ground like I wear this when we had dinner and it was raining it was pouring outside because it's patent leather so i was quite comfortable doing that so all you did is you peel it and then you put another one again you peel another one but i think the best way to go is to go to your cobbler and have it like re this one i have it resold because i haven't been using this i don't know why it's just not the comfiest so you know it's really bad but um, I would suggest just going to the cobbler and actually resoling it rather than buying this like sticky pads that doesn't you know stay there for a long time so yeah I was just experimenting on different things guys but yeah there you go because you can still do it yourself now what else for the shoes and for the boots as well what I do is like I put these has yeah look at that it's quite filthy but what i might do is before i wear them next time i'm gonna re take them to the cobbler and have them sold uh that would be the plan for these boots and what else can i say yeah just keeping everything clean and well, this pack system is from ikea and what i would do is that during you know like maybe every fortnight or every once a month i would like wipe it down because there's like dust and everything to keep everything just tidy and like make sure that you know you kind of really have to take care i mean personally speaking i love taking care of my things because they are not cheap and even if they were cheap i would still take care of them because that's just my my habit you know my behavior oh hi simba so when you buy chanel bags they actually give you a cloth and you can use that to wipe your you know like your um, designer handbags so you can do that but honestly I don't really do I could possibly do that because you know it's really nice I think I might start doing that so what happened was guys yesterday when I went out it actually rained in the afternoon so I this bag got rained on my baby Birkin got rained on so what I initially did was just like oh I went back to the mall and luckily I've got like this 50 cents or like a dollar bag that I got from like Woolies or like a supermarket here in Australia so what I did is I put my baby Birkin because you know they don't give the the bag cover anymore because of like you know taking care of mother earth reason which is fine so what i did was i covered my bag and carried it like this so yes so that's one way of doing it and i would say the togo leather is not very delicate guys like it's really sturdy in my experience with this bag i've taken this you know to a humid um to different countries so it's definitely i love it okay so you just keep one of this like re reusable bags inside your designer bag so that when it rains or you can also bring an umbrella which i forgot to bring so yeah so that's the thing so just make sure that you bring something and also i was wearing pants but i was like in a panicky situation because you know this is my only birkin guys and there was like a blue mark there 
and that blue mark stuck and then I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. So when I got home, I just took the baby wipes that I showed you earlier and then quickly like just rubbed it off and it rubbed off pretty quick. I was uh, wearing um, jeans, like blue jeans that have that has been washed a few times. But for some reason, it transferred into my yellow um, baby Birkin. So yes, yeah, so I just wiped it and then dried it with a cloth. Uh, not, not with a cloth, with like tissues, you know, like face, facial tissues and just wiped it. And it worked really well. So it's actually quite low maintenance these bags and I've also done that with my um, Dior bag as well before when it had color transfer how do I store my bags I just store them like this guys because I'm quite a practical person you know I don't put them in boxes I feel that's just I feel that's a hassle you know when you want to go out you just want to grab that's why I got the pack system in the first place because I want convenience okay so I never really close this bag. I never put them in the box, like let them sleep. No, I don't do that. I I love waking up and going into my wardrobe and, you know, all these bags are here and it just makes me feel so grateful and happy. So yeah, so that's what I do. I have this pack system to decorate my bags. And yeah, and then you can use this cloth or... I think a microfiber cloth is what they use. But to be honest with you, I have never, this is the first time I have actually taken this out of this, you know, out of the, the drawer. What I normally do is just wipe it with like facial tissue or with like this microfiber small cloth that I have. It actually works well with my bags. And yes, now what do I do with my book tote though? With my like canvas bag is, I don't, I didn't actually spray it with anything. Again, these are material things, guys, and they are meant to be used to their full capacity. Not to the point of abuse, but to be honest with you, like I buy these things and I cherish them a lot. Don't get me wrong, but I buy them to use them. So those are the care, you know, the care, like the, the things that I do to maintain the longevity of my designer items. Nothing really special or, you know, I just make sure that they're pristine, they're clean, that every time I use my bags, I give them like a good look and a good wipe if they needed any wipe. And then I used my Twillies for my baby Birkin. At first, I did not like the look of the Twilly, but I think I'm warming up to it. And I really like the Twillies now, so there you go. But I don't like the Rodeo on the Birkin. I think there's just too many things going on with this bag. It is all already beauty, beautiful by itself, so I don't think it needs any, you know, decoration or anything else. But that might change later on. But for now, I love this simplistic look with just the Twillies. I think that's the maximum they can go. Although my essay did um, offer me a lot of, like, you know, Pegasus or Rodeo charms, but... Personally, I love the look. I don't even use the clochette or the lock and key. I just keep it in the drawer because I don't like that look and I don't want to damage my bags. But maybe later on, I shall give it a go. And it makes the bag heavy. So the size 25 is already a bit on the heavy side, you know. So I think that's why I was telling you before on my last on my other video that I don't really want to get a Birkin 30. And even if it was offered to me, I would not say yes to a Birkin 30. So yes, so I love, love, love. I don't like that look, so I just keep this clochette inside, you know, sleeping in the bag in. If you have any questions about anything or if I have missed something, please just comment down below. But this is my general you know, these are what these are the items. Like for example, the delicate wash for my scarves. I have like a special liquid that I got from the supermarket, and then I've got this um, water resistant spray that I use for like suede and like canvas materials. I would say, and then I also have. Yeah, and also got the brush and then just like, you know, like your wipes and like steaming them also helps. And yeah, that's about it. And I can assure you guys, you should try and give it a go. 
because I really, really, you know, you don't only like save money because that, that money for dry cleaning can go towards and then, you know, you like your little um, piggyback coin for your, for your bags, for your next Birkin or Kelly or whatever your heart fancies, you know, it can be Fendi Peekaboo or whatever. But yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.